This is actually a video that I've wanted to make for a very long time and I've always wanted to branch off with my content and create new things and that's been one of my biggest goals for this year was to create new content aside from the gaming videos because every time I make like a in real life video a lot of you guys are curious about my personal life and you want to know why I never post pictures about myself or why I never do like these types of vlogs that a lot of other YouTubers do and it all comes back to a barrier like that I have or just like an insecurity that I have and it's been one of the things that's been holding me back for a very long time and it has to do with my weight to be honest and I know a lot of people right now might be wondering what are you talking about like this came out of nowhere I had no idea you had issues with your own weight and yes I've been uncomfortable with my weight for a long time it's been so up and down it's been like a roller coaster my whole life gain weight lose weight I can never find that perfect balance I'm either like big or I'm small and I just wanna talk about it, and that's why I didn't make any types of vlogging content. Because once I explain everything that's been in my head, you guys will understand. So I'm gonna take you guys on a 15 year journey, which is literally half my life. So for as long as I can remember when I was a kid, I've always been like a chubby to overweight kid. I learned from a very young age that if I'm gonna put something on my plate, I better make damn sure that I eat everything on my plate. Because my mom always said to me and my sister, you know, your family in the Philippines, they would love to have this kind of food on their plate so if you're not gonna eat it and you're just gonna waste it you might as well not even get it so I learned from a very young age that if you're gonna put something on your plate you got to finish it so we never ate until we were satisfied or until we were full we ate until everything was gone so I had this bad habit of overeating which caused me to gain a lot of weight when I was young and it caused me to get made fun of a lot uh, you know I got roasted a lot about my weight um, every time I tried to do sports you know, I got made fun of, you know, just because I was overweight and I was slow and just didn't look athletic at all. So I would always get roasted by classmates, friends, stuff like that. And usually you just roll with it when you're a kid. But obviously, you know, you don't want to talk about it because you don't want it to be a big deal more than it is. But those kind of mental scars, they don't heal just by putting a Band-Aid on it. You know, you can dig those deep in your mind and you can try to bury those as far as you can. But they can still resurface at a point in your life. And that's why I've always been uncomfortable with my weight because I feel like that has stuck with me since I was a young kid. And I feel really nervous talking about this right now because I've never talked about this. But yeah, probably from like age 10 to 19, I was always the chunky, overweight kid. You know, I loved playing basketball. I remember somebody made a comment saying that the only reason why I play basketball is because I'm trying to lose all the fat on me, which made me feel really bad because I actually love basketball and it's one of my favorite things to do outside of playing video games. And that comment stuck out to me a lot. I don't know why, but um, yeah, it, it followed me until I was about 18 or 19. And I told myself like, I don't wanna be like this forever. Like, I don't want to be out of shape forever. I actually wanna get fit. I wanna learn about things that have to do with, you know, the right foods to eat or the, the right workouts to do so I can get muscles, you know? Like, I want definition, you know? I wanna look good, you feel me? So I was like, all right, it's time to really just like hunker down and learn about these things. So I learned about like macronutrients and making sure you get your micronutrients in, which is like vegetables and, and like all the vitamins and stuff like that. Making sure you drink enough water, getting your fiber in. And uh, especially when you're new to lifting weights, just lifting hard and heavy and smart and focusing on form. Like I was a sponge when I was 18 or 19 and uh, I started going to a gym that was free. So I would pick the brains of all the people in the gym. I would always look at the biggest guy and I'd just pick his brain. I'd be like, hey, what are you doing? And then they'd tell me. And, you know, they told me to just be confident about myself because, you know, I still was an overweight kid and I had no confidence to myself. And they taught me to just be confident and, you know, walk with your head up high. And keep in mind, I didn't tell you guys how much I weighed. So I'm over six feet tall. I'm a little over six feet tall. And I was probably about 240 something pounds, which is big. That's very big. I had no muscle to me. I was six feet tall, which is tall, but not that tall to be 240 pounds. And yeah, I didn't lift any weights in my life. Maybe I could do like one or two push ups on a good day. But yeah, I was really big. So the thing that helped me was actually learning the right foods to eat. I had a book about 
what to eat and what not to eat, like the smart things to put inside your body. So when I was about 18 or 19, I worked out every day. I ate really good. I followed a good workout program and a good diet regimen. And I ended up becoming 168 pounds. I think it was 168, 169, something like that. And I was so thin that I was able to dunk a basketball. And I had my friend record me one time because I was amazed that I could actually get up that high. Like I was focused on just working out and just making sure I, you know, get my rest and my stretches in. And then all of a sudden I can dunk a basketball. Like, can you imagine somebody who never really was able to jump high or run fast and all of a sudden I can jump up to be able to put a basketball in a hoop? Like I felt amazing. Like my confidence was sky high. All those things people told me from a long time ago it was kind of just like in the rear view mirror. So yeah, for the next few years, when I was 19, all the way to 22, 23, I was in the best shape of my life. You know, I had a six pack, I had defined arms, you know, I just felt good about myself and I just felt confident about myself. And I felt like this was me, like, this is the confidence that I could have because I was comfortable in my own skin. It wasn't just about looking good. I felt really good. And that's a big part. It's not just about looking good. It's feeling good because sometimes like you can be big and you can feel good about yourself. But all the shit that I got when I was younger, that really didn't make me feel good about myself. So I put all those things behind me when I got in great shape. So 2014 rolls around the year I started YouTube and I started uploading some videos. And the very first video that I uploaded was, I think it was like the ultimate things to fix in 2K15. And I was really thin back then, like as you can see right here. I was confident but awkward on camera, so I didn't know how to act on camera. I was acting a fool, I guess. People didn't know that I was big before, so I had no problem just like making the kind of content that I did. And this is all gonna tie in later. That's why I'm mentioning that specific part that nobody knew I was big before, so I was comfortable like showing myself on camera. So the channel kind of took off. You know, I got a lot of support, a lot of good comments. People were telling me to keep going and saying that I was funny. So. I was addicted to the grind. I was so addicted to just making content that I just completely started blowing off the gym, just started blowing off my diet, and all I would do was just wake up, eat, record, eat, record again. Like, I was uploading twice a day, three times a day sometimes, because I was watching Jack Septicai upload twice a day, and I was like, that's motivation right there. Like, if he can do it, I can do it too. So sometimes I would upload three times a day, like 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 p.m. That was short-lived, but I did do it for a small period of time. I think like four years ago, because I was so addicted to the grind, and I wanted to make it on YouTube so bad that I just completely neglected my physical and my mental health. And I was just focused on making content, making content. And over time, as you can see right here, like I just started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I didn't even realize it. Like I honestly was just focused on that day and focused on the mission, which was to just grow the channel as much as I can. And I wanted my work ethic to be really strong. So I didn't even focus on myself. Like I just completely started blowing off the gym. And I remember one year, it started to take a toll on me. Like I would wake up with no energy. It was hard for me to talk. Like I had like this sloshy sound in some of my videos. Like I would talk like this, like I would talk like that. And it's because I felt like I didn't feel good. Like I didn't feel good physically. I would go up the stairs in the house and I would be out of breath by the time I made it to the top. And I looked at myself one day and I was like, wow, like how much do I weigh? I didn't even check my weight. And I think this is what triggered me to never want to do in real life stuff. I stepped on the scale and it was the most weight that I've ever seen in my life. I was 260 something pounds. I can't even remember. I think I was close to 270 and I was just embarrassed. I was embarrassed with myself because I let myself go that hard. I was about 168, 169 to go up almost 100 pounds. Like I started doing YouTube late 2014 and then by 2017, 2018, I was the biggest that I ever was in my life. And a lot of people were wondering why I never showed my whole body and people were wondering like, how come I don't have Instagram pictures or just full body pictures? And honestly, I was embarrassed. So that was the most weight that I've ever seen in my life, all right? I was embarrassed, I was ashamed of myself. I knew that if I started getting close to 300 pounds, I was gonna run into a lot of health problems. It wasn't just about looking good, like I said, it's about feeling good. And I know I was gonna run into a bunch of problems like diabetes, uh, the potential of having high blood pressure and stroke because those are the three things that I have a family history of. And I have a lot of family members that deal with that to this day. I have a lot of close family members that have that right now. And I know that I gotta take care of myself because I'm likely to get those types of things. So I told myself, you know what? It's go time. And I know a lot of people can relate to this next part. I kept telling myself that I was gonna go on a diet. I was like, you know what? No more of this bullshit. I'm gonna go on a diet and I'm gonna stick to it. 
and then it never happened. Like I would always say, okay, I ate bad today. I'm gonna start tomorrow. Then I eat bad the next day and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start on Monday. And then, you know, it kept pushing and delaying until 2019. This is when I said enough is enough. So it was my birthday and we were taking pictures and I didn't even want to take pictures because I didn't even want to see what I looked like because I was ashamed. Like I, I couldn't even walk past a mirror. I had to blur my eyes because I was just embarrassed that I let myself go this much. Like I, I let myself just balloon up to this. It's like I didn't even give a shit about myself. Like when you don't even give a fuck about your own health, like I felt ashamed. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but that's just how I felt. Like, that's just being honest. And I told myself, this is my last year in my 20s. Like, why don't I want pictures to remember? Like, I, I don't even want to look at them. So I told myself, this is not the kind of life that I want to live. Like, I want to look good. I want to feel good again. And I want to do what I need to do. And I'm going to sacrifice everything that I need to do to get there. I don't care if the content suffers for it. I'm going to focus on my health. So the very next day, I went on my diet. 2019, April 29, 2019, I went on my diet and I was going hard. The diet was phenomenal. The workouts consistent. I, you know, was intermittent fasting, meaning that I had a window of time where I ate and that was perfect for recording because I knew exactly when I was going to record and exactly when I was going to eat. Nothing was ever left to question. Like I was counting calories. I was counting like my proteins, carbs, fats, everything. Like I was making sure I did everything to a T and I went from 260 something to about 215, 216. And it showed in the videos. Like I started getting thinner and thinner and thinner. I lost all that weight in a span of four or five months. I know that might not be like the most ideal amount of weight to lose that fast, but I did it. And I remember I was in the best shape of my life. I was flexing my guns. I was just striding my stuff. I was like, yo, I, I see jawline. Like what's going on here? Like I was feeling good about myself. And not only that, I felt like I had like a bunch of stamina. I was recording well, you know, even after my workouts, I still had so much energy to record and give you guys all this energy. And 2019 was one of the best years on the channel as well. And I had a goal in mind to get to like the 180s, 190s, cause I didn't wanna be around like 160, 170 because I did pack on some muscles since I was in my early 20s. And I wanted to be around like 180-ish. I think that would have been a good weight for me to be. But it was all just like an eye test. If I felt like I looked good or looked lean enough, then I would stop cutting and I would stop trying to diet and just focus on maintaining. But, you know, I was almost there. I think in January of 2020, I got down to almost 200 pounds. Now, obviously, we all know what happened in 2020. The pandemic hit, everything shut down. We all had to stay at home. And, you know, that was fine with me. I was cool, you know, just being safe, being home, doing my part to stop the spread. And everything was cool. But I had, like, a strict schedule with my workouts, which was to wake up. I would go to the gym, I would work out, I would play basketball, and then I'd come home and eat, and then I'd record for the rest of the night. But all I ended up doing was just recording. And then 2020 ended up being really great on the channel as well, but then I started to neglect my health again. I ended up doing the same things that I was doing when I was grinding on the channel to get the channel to grow, which was, you know, just wake up, eat, record, eat, sleep like that's all i was doing i wasn't really working out and one of my big goals on the channel was to create an in real life series like i wanted to vlog for you guys i wanted to take you guys into my personal world but that was when i was already down to 180 and you know just fully fit and just comfortable with myself but then i started gaining weight again throughout the course of 2020 and instead of getting leaner during the pandemic i ended up gaining more weight and i'm about 225 right now like as of right now i'm about 225 it doesn't look too bad on me but I'm going in the wrong direction of what I want to go into. And instead of just like hiding myself again, I wanted to be transparent with you all for the first time in seven years since I made the channel. And I know a lot of people had questions of how come I never created content like in real life content or never showed my full body. It's because I was just embarrassed and uncomfortable with my weight. And I have been for over half my life. So I told myself, you know what? No more hiding. I'm going to take everybody with me. I'm going to vlog the whole entire experience. I'm going to get back down. I am gonna show you guys the day-to-day -day grind of me getting back to where I was and me feeling good about myself. I mean, my confidence is always gonna be there, like gaming content or reaction content, but when it has to do with real life, you know, I do get a little shy and I do get insecure with myself sometimes because that's just how I am. I was a sweater in the summer kind of guy. Like if you guys look at the past videos, I always wore like this black jacket to hide myself. I was super insecure about it, but no more. 
No more. I'm breaking through that barrier. We going hard. Like, we going hard. Hey, camera, look at me. We going hard, all right? I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. You guys are gonna see me get down to what I used to be, and you guys are gonna watch the whole thing raw, unfiltered, unedited. No, it's gonna be edited. But it's gonna be raw, though. And it's gonna be unfiltered. Like, you're gonna hear a lot of F words, a lot of S words. So, you know, you might have to put in the, the headphones, okay? And it's not even just about looking good, either. One of the things that I saw that kind of triggered me again like when I stepped on the scale, remember? And I told you guys that I saw all that weight and I felt ashamed of myself. I felt embarrassed with myself. Is this video that I had with my son and I was holding him and I was making him laugh. And I noticed that I was getting bigger and bigger again. And I was like, if I keep going in the wrong direction, like I won't be able to have the stamina to, to play with my son or just be healthy enough to just you know, teach him the things that I want to teach him. Like, I want to teach him how to play basketball. Like, even if he doesn't like basketball, at least I'm going to give him the opportunity to learn it and then, you know, to play with me and, you know, I'm going to bust his ass until he grows older and start busting my ass. So I saw that video and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this not just for me. I'm going to do this for my son. Like, I'm going to be in the best shape of my life. I'm in my 30s now. Like, my metabolism is going to be even slower than it was throughout my whole life. So I got to make sure I stay in shape now or I'm gonna have to deal with this for the rest of my life. And I wanna break through this barrier and I want you guys to hold me accountable. I wanna document this on camera. Like if I say I'm gonna get down and be in the best shape of my life and it doesn't happen, then who loses at the end of the day? Me, because not only is my word not shit because I said it and it didn't happen, I also didn't do it for my own good. So that's why I wanna document this and I wanna show you guys that I can do it, you can do it, maybe this will motivate somebody who wants to get back into it. Because I was reading an article, over half the population gained weight during the pandemic. So I know people wanna get after it. Like things are gonna reopen this year. You know, I got vaccinated. So, you know, more and more people are gonna get vaccinated and everything's gonna reopen. Everybody's gonna try to go hard and, and live their life and not take anything for granted anymore. And that's the same thing for me. Like I don't wanna be uncomfortable in my own skin anymore. I really don't. And I wanna be as confident with my own body as I am when I'm making videos for you guys because the confidence that I have when I'm making content for you guys, I love it. Like, I can scream at the top of my lungs and just be proud of myself and the content that I make. And when I'm in person, like, I want that same energy. I just want that same energy. So, like I said, I'm gonna document everything. Every single thing. It's gonna be raw, unfiltered. Edited though, you know what I mean by edited though like sometimes I'll be messing up on my words and shit and to be honest everybody I'm still shaky that I'm even making this video because I didn't think it was gonna be a video that I was ever gonna make but you know Thank you to whoever made it to the end and the whole series is coming real soon I got a bunch of stuff for you all like I got a bunch of stuff that I want to take you through and We're gonna be in the best shape of our lives not just me for anybody that wants to join in that wants to start with me as I'm starting Hey, let's freaking get it because this is our year this is our year. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see you all in the in real life video soon. Oh, and by the way, um, for anybody who's watching this video who's not gonna tune into those videos and just wants to see gaming videos, I promise you, nothing is gonna change on this channel. I'm not gonna be like a vlogging channel or an in real life channel. Video games, they, they take stress out of me. Like video games are a way for me to just escape the world like whenever I want to. So that content is always gonna be on the channel, but words are nothing. You guys are gonna see real soon that nothing's gonna change. I'm just gonna add a new spice, a new flavor to the channel. So hopefully you all are looking forward to it. Be on the lookout for the vlogs coming real soon. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude. <laughs>